Whether in Iran, Syria, Lebanon, or one of the 20 countries under the boot of U.S. sanctions, the Trump administration is using its economic weight to try to push regime change or major policy changes in countries around the globe. The U.S. sanctions against Iran are particularly brutal. Although food and medicines are technically exempt from sanctions, U.S. sanctions against Iranian banks like Parsian Bank, Iran's largest non-state-owned bank, make it nearly impossible to process payments for imported goods. And that includes food and medicine. The resulting shortage of medicines is sure to cause thousands of preventable deaths in Iran, and the victims will always be ordinary working people. U.S. officials say that sanctions will benefit the people of Iran by pushing them to rise up and overthrow their governments. Since the use of force, coups and covert operations to overthrow foreign governments have proven catastrophic in Afghanistan, Iraq, Haiti, Somalia, Honduras, Libya, Syria, Ukraine and Yemen. Sieges and sanctions alone are seldom successful in achieving their alleged aims. Sieges and sanctions are the means to soften up the target to then allow for an easier all-out attack. The economic war waged against Iran by the U.S. and its allies is a war crime under the U.N. Charter and international law and must be exposed as such. The reason we should care is not only due to the gross injustice, but because it is a slippery slope. Today it is Iran and tomorrow it will be another country the U.S. seeks to control. Welcome to the Middle Stream, I'm Marosman.